The 40s is the new 30s. Yay. Yeah? The 50s is the new 40s. Basically what has happened in medicine now is that we've added about 15 years smack dab in the middle of the prime of our life. So I'm here to talk to you tonight about what you're doing with it. Are you... Sorry, I was running around on your breath. Um, are you kind of just growing old and not thinking and letting life kind of mindlessly catch you up, pass you by? Or are you really grabbing onto it and saying, you know what, I love my youth, I love my strength, I love my vitality, I'm going to keep a hold of it. Ron asked me to come here tonight to talk to you about ways to come into the new year physically ready and prepared. I am a board certified anesthesiologist and pain management specialist. I have my own pain management practice in La Quinta, California. But the reason I'm here tonight is because I have a master's in exercise physiology and I've done health and wellness now for about 30 years. Sorry. This is my party gift. Um, the book talks about exercise. The book is um, obviously focused on exercise. But truthfully, I think the biggest gift that it gives the readers is all these little tips and ways to rethink how you go through the day. Um, it works for me. It keeps me fairly lean and strong. And then when I can get to the gym or get hiking, I do what I can. You do what you can. But if you start to put movement into your day, it makes it, it's going to reshape your body, reshape your ass, and give you nice biceps in the process. So you know this one, take the stairs instead of the elevator. That you hear all the time, right? Park at the back of the parking lot and walk in rather than driving around. Brush your teeth standing on one leg. That's my patient's favorite one. You got two minutes, right? Your little timer's gonna ding, right? While you're brushing, you might as well do something. Stand on one leg. Get the hip muscles strong. Build your thighs. Ward off hip arthritis, knee arthritis. Oh, once you turn 40, by x-ray, 90% of us have arthritic changes in our hips and knees. The difference in people who hurt and don't, muscle strength. So stand on one leg. Or do deep knee bends while you're brushing your teeth. Okay, while you're waiting for the coffee to brew. You know, you're standing in the kitchen, you got that darn microwave that's got two minutes on it. Do something. It'd be funny doing that at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we'll just have to brew our own coffee, all right? <laughs> if you're stuck at a desk, do leg extensions or do them in front of the TV. Simply while you're sitting there, just extend one leg. A little hard in heels, but you got the idea. You'll feel those thighs burn. They absolutely do. Few more calories, muscles get stronger. The more muscle mass you have, the more your body's burning calories every minute of every day. I like dance to the radio. Um, make sure every patient of mine is guilty of this. When you get up out of the chair, don't use your arms. Every patient comes in, they sit down and they plop down on the chair. And then when they get up, they use two hands and they hoist themselves up out of the chair. And you wonder why their back hurts or you wonder why their knees hurt. They don't have any strength anymore. So the new thing with all my patients is they know I'm going to be watching how they move. I had a, this is, this is true, I had a lady today. She came in, she was going to have, we had a meeting, we were going to talk about a spinal cord stimulator. That is like the last ditch thing that I do for somebody whose pain I can't control. She couldn't tolerate meds. The shots weren't working anymore. She had already failed a back surgery. Her pain the last time she came in, she did a little pain drawing, drew all over her legs and her knees and her back. And she looked like a Power Ranger picture, right? Everything was red and pain. And she comes in today and we're ready to talk about this. And there's a little X on a hip. And that was it. And I said, what? I swear to God, this is the truth. I mean, I mean, we had done MRIs. I was like, what is going on? Why is your pain so bad? She said, well, I started reading your book, and I've been doing what the physical therapist told me, 
and I'm really feeling pretty good. She goes, you, you did that MRI, and I knew there was nothing else that was going wrong. And you know what? This 85-year-old woman picked herself up by the bootstraps, and I won't put a stimulator in her ever. She's great. And, and you always think, you know, oh, I'm on my soapbox. I'm not, I'm out of touch with reality. But I, I see it in the office every day. Last few things, when you carry in the groceries, put them all in one arm. Okay? My rule is I can't buy anything I can't carry in one trip. It, it helps the checkbook a little bit. That's cool. But you take all those groceries and you're doing what we call a suitcase carry. You don't want to balance the load. You want it off balance so that you have to use that core. Okay? The two things that will start to turn you around. Getting in, in and out of a chair without using your arms. Use those legs. And the other one is to start to engage your core. And if you guys are active and working, you need this protection. Engage your core, and that is like somebody's coming at you and going to punch you in the gut. And everything tightens. It doesn't pooch out, it doesn't suck in, but it just tightens. And when you're going to lift, when you're going to move, when you're sitting, how are you sitting? You're going to sit. These chairs are hard, though. I'll give you that. When you're, going to, when you're sitting, you're going to sit strong and contracted and start to build those muscles the way you're supposed to. So this book is on, it's for sale at the office. It's for sale on drexercise.net. Uh, I left you a few cards if you're interested. Uh, some for the book, some for the practice. Again, I do pain management. If you're hurting, I can help you. I promise. Thank you.